All right, now we've got the ringlet attached. There's the ringlet. Again, this is the middle finger. I'm giving you the middle finger. <laughs> uh, okay, so the ringlet is attached. Now, what I want to try to do, since this is going to be a deluxe resurrection, well, when I say deluxe, I just mean the, the resurrection with the colored fingertips. Now, I've got my little trusty resource book here. Again, flash of a picture. Got different angles of love. Okay, now here's my fingertip picture. Uh, I try to replicate the coloring on those fingertips as best as possible. It's really hard to replicate uh, real burn colors, and I wish I could do it naturally with you know a torch and things like that. But y'all always get random results, and since I am trying to replicate it, you have to do it artificially. So. Uh, you got to get artistic with it. So let me show you one result. I've done one finger. Hopefully I have it around here. Never mind, I don't have it. Um, so we'll just go ahead and try to do that one right there. And so let's get started. I'm not going to show you how I do it. So I'm going to pause it and get it done and show you the result and see how it goes. Alrighty, we got the fingertip all done. Okay, I also have all the other ones here. Here's the middle finger just finished up. Nice and colorful. Okay. And let's see, here's a pinky. Here's the pinky. Anyway, you get the idea. So now all I have to do is the assembly. Oh, and by the way, here's the index finger right here and along with the blade break so all right so now I just have to put all the parts together and assemble the bad boy so let's go ahead and get that taken care of let's see here so I just have to find no that's a pinky find the index okay index lower finger and the index fingertip. Now, just have to grab my rivets and slide them through the holes first. I've had some people ask me how I attach the rivets. Well, here you go. No, I don't want to use that one. Wrong color cap. Make sure to use the right one. Okay. Now, I get a piece of brass, just a piece of brass and I use that so because my vise is grooved has grooves in the vise clamp area and I don't want that grooves to show up on the cap so I just take the piece of brass and stick it against the the cap and then I just clamp clamp it together just like that one done now on to the next one. Do the same thing. Can you guys even see this? It might help if you could see it, huh? It's far away, but still not much to see here. And clamp the second one. It might help if I tightened it. Obviously, this video has very low production value. she be. Okay. Index fingertip. Okay. Show you the... Okay, there's one rivet. There's the other rivet. And make sure the finger's straight. Looks good. Okay. One finger down. Good old index. Alright, I got everything assembled. Uh, even onto the back plate. Here's the finished armature. Okay. Give you a closer look. Back plate, fingers, fingertips. And here is the completed leather glove. All stained up. Got the holes cut into it. I'll show you. Okay, 
second. There it is. Now, what I want to do is just with my hand in the glove, I just slide it right into the finger stalls. Hopefully this doesn't give me too much trouble. All right. Okay. Got it in. Like that. Now, what I need to do is mark where the holes go for the back plate. So once I have the leather glove on, I just take something sharp, like a pair of scissors, and just punch it right through the hole, and I press, and that makes a little indentation on the leather glove. So I know where to make the hole. Okay. So I usually just do the first, do two of them. Okay, so I've got I've got the holes there, and I just punch through. Okay, one, two. Okay, should have some music going or something. You don't want me singing, trust me. Okay, so got the fingers all put in. I just grab some rivets. Okay, just pinch the tops of each rivet. Then slide it into the hole. Slide it through the, the rivet hole. Get the cap. Snap it together. Get the other one. Slide it through the hole. Get the cap. Snap it together. Okay, now once those two are together, just like I did with the fingers, get my little piece of brass, slide the glove in, make sure the wrist strap is out of the way, line up the rivet, okay, and give it a nice little clamp. sure not to smash any of the other parts. Sometimes the little ball on the hole strap will get in the way. You wind up crushing it. Trust me, you don't want to do that. Alright. Okay. You got, as you can see, you got the bottom one and this one on the side. Now, I just smooth out the leather on the inside, that way there's no wrinkles. It's all about comfort. It's extremely important. And once I clamp this other rivet in, we will have a completed glove. I'm sure you're going to be quite happy with it, Mr. Ambidex. I think it's turning out really, really, really nicely. Especially with this new leather glove. I love it. least. Nice clamp. And there it is, all attached. Okay. Now usually after that clamping, parts may get distorted and whatnot, and you just have to fiddle with it a little bit. There we go. Just to get it right back into shape. Then you give it a test. Of course, getting your fingers in to one of these things sometimes can be tricky. Okay, I'm going to do my little folding technique on it. Get a nice pull, pull up the leather above the back plate or above the buckle. And there she is. I'll give you a close up look. Okay. There's the glove. Got the got the blades with the bevels.